Hey guys, this is Comic Inno, and today I'm doing a review for The Adventures of Supergirl Chapter 3. And as you guys know, I am reviewing every chapter of Adventures of Supergirl. Uh, so let's get started and talk about this one. Uh, with this chapter, we get to see um, Kara is trapped in a cage by Rampage. Um, and you get a little backstory of who Rampage is and why she's doing the things she's doing. Um, it's actually because Alex killed her sister. And you find out her circumstances, where she came from, and why she wants revenge. And it makes Kara understand, obviously not like, hey, go kill my sister type of understanding, but it makes her understand why you know, she's trapping Kara in a slash Supergirl and why she wants to attack Alex and, and she, in a weird way she's trying to emphasize with her. Um, and that's what I love about Supergirl's character in general is that she always kind of sees the brighter side of a picture uh, and that's definitely what we get to see in this issue. And by the end, you know, they're able to, I guess, destroy Rampage or capture Rampage and Supergirl kind of feels bad about it um, because obviously of everything she's seen. Uh, but also in the end, you kind of leave a, in this cliffhanger where Alex um, is obviously happy and she's like, oh, Kara, we did a great job. Uh, but Kara is starting to realize maybe I don't know my sister as well as I think I do um, if she did these things to Rampage and, and Rampage's sister. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing we'll get to see a little bit more of Alex and Kara's relationship after these events in the next issue. So what do I think of, uh, of this issue? Now, one thing, of course, uh, something I always talk about with these chapters is was the length um, good enough? Because obviously the length is a bit shorter for these chapters than um, a regular comic book. So um, I thought they utilized the length pretty well here. Um, you know, they in this comic, they definitely could have uh, been total exposition heavy and I'm glad that uh, the Rampage story was interesting. It didn't just feel like exposition. It actually did feel like this person kind of telling their emotional journey, not just like, here is a bland story about the planet I was from. I, I felt you actually did get some emotion from it. And that's probably more because of Kara's reaction to the story of understanding of, you know, being from a different planet and having these hardships and um, having a different situation than she did. She had a loving family with the Danvers family and Rampage didn't and lost her family, mostly because of Alex. So that's why Kara is angry in the end. Uh, and once again, um, the biggest positive towards this series is the narration. I love going into Supergirl's head because that's something you really can't do in a television show, but you can do in, in a comic book medium. And I think Sterling Gates has some wonderful narration, especially about Kara's childhood, growing up, um, what it meant to live on Earth for the first day. Was she scared? I um, mean, for Kara, she was scared more in the second day than the first day, because then it's like that realization, oh my god, I'm on another planet. Um, and Sterling Gates really does a great job at um, executing um, that that situation and again getting into Kara's head a, a bit more. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty solid uh, issue. I, I do think that so far, my favorite issue has been the first one, but every issue has been very solid and uh, very enjoyable. And I'm, I'm excited to hopefully see more of a Kara story for issue four or chapter four, uh, because we have gotten a lot of the Supergirl story in, in these uh, past three issues. But it does seem like they'll take a break with that and go into Kara's life, which, I, like I said, I'm excited for. Uh, and once again, artwork was beautiful in this book, too. Really like how they expressed emotion, uh, especially in that last panel with um, Alex, again, getting excited to hang out with Kara for the weekend because they have some time off. And then it, it's Kara's face like, no, but I kind of know what you did. Um, and also, I love the way they do the heat vision in in the comic. And uh, those are some of the best parts. And even the powers of... Um, of Rampage. She did this loud noise. I thought that looked really well of how Kara was dealing with that loud noise, of course, with our heightened uh, hearing. Uh, so really great artwork and uh, a good solid story. So of course I recommend this chapter uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. And then in the next two, week, uh, two weeks when the next chapter comes out, I will definitely have another review for Adventures of Supergirl. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.